Hello? Oh, hi. How'd... Well, I just got in. No, I mean, I literally just stepped off the plane. I'm not even in the terminal yet. What's wrong? I promise I'll call him just as soon as I get my luggage. Oh, no, I'm really looking forward to it. Thank you. Corky, car number 36. Boss told me to call in. Hello. Victoria Snelling calling for Mr. Pitt? Yes, I can wait. It's me, Corky. I'm phoning in. Yeah, I'm out at the airport. Oh, I don't know. It's the executive terminal or something. I don't know. I've never been here before. No, man. Everything's cool. But listen, this car runs like shit, man. I had to pull the plugs myself this afternoon. Yeah, I know I'm not, but you better tell Gonzalez to get his ass in gear, or else I'm gonna have to be your fucking mechanic. Larry! Larry, Victoria! Yes, I'm, I'm at the airport. Excuse all the noise. I'm, I'm at the baggage claim. Well, I, I, um... I'm hoping that you have some good news for me about that last actress I sent you. No, man, everything's great. In fact, I got a really big tip from these, like, musician dudes. Hey, Ray, have you ever heard of a band called Utensil? No, no, listen, I brought back seven tapes of, of the most sensational young actresses in the country. No, not just New York, uh, Chicago, Minneapolis, Seattle, San Francisco. Eight, they're all unknown. Yes. Oh, they're wonderful. They're just so wonderful. I, I, I like them all. But it really has to be your decision. You know, why don't I bring them back? Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll just stop by my house for a few minutes, and then yeah, I'll gotcha, come right Ray. over. We'll sit down, and we'll look at them together, OK? OK, I'll get a fare here, then I'll head back hey, downtown. Take it easy. You're just going to love one of these kids. Don't worry about nothing, boss. Relax, OK? See you in a few. Hey, Ray, I'm not a kid, OK? Yeah. Shit. Yeah. Hey, you need a cab, lady? Yeah, I guess I do. Yeah, I'm right here. You a taxi driver? Yeah. OK, I, uh, yeah, why not?
Be careful with that, will you? I'm a little in love with my luggage. No problem, lady. I'll carry that with me. Thank okay. you. Okay. Thank you. I need that leg. Sorry. Just Sorry. Yeah. You in? Yes, thank you. What's wrong? Fuck. Nothing. Where to? Beverly Hills, please. phone book back in the suitcase with all my numbers in it. I'm afraid we'll have Is to pull... Is it listed? Up. Listed? Yes, it's a... It's a hotel I've called a million... Well, thank you. Thank you. No problem. Just pass it back up when you're done. Are you okay without it up there? Don't worry about it. Suite 216, please. Carol, Victoria. Yes, I, uh, I just spoke to him. Oh, he's going nuts as usual, ricocheting off the walls. I don't know what to do with him anymore. I sent him ten actresses who were perfect. Well, six of them were perfect. But he just keeps, he keeps wanting them younger and younger. Now he wants someone 18 with absolutely no experience, but the nerves of a paratrooper. He's not human. I think he's an android. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, I'm gonna have to go over there with those tapes. Two weeks I've got to have a fabrication. Uh, Carol, I, I, uh, I'm going, I, I'm supposed to have dinner with Peter and Sharon to tonight, but to the we hold on a second, please. Miss? Please, uh, just turn the music on. Sure, Mom. Thank you. This is my day. Okay, where were we? Oh, yes. Will, will you call them and explain and tell them why I can't? Great. Listen, were there any messages for me? Did Mr. Kincaid call? You sure? Okay. Okay. Okay, then I will, um, I'll, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Great. Bye-bye. Mr. Kincaid like your boyfriend? Yes, he is. At least I think he is. 
guys can't live with them, can't shoot them. <laughs> yeah, you can say that again. Oh, your phone book. Yeah, thanks a lot. Sure. It sure gets dark fast in the winter, doesn't it? Driving at night doesn't seem to bother you. Why should it? Well, with me, it's a big problem. I have night blindness. Is that like something that happens when you get old? No, no, actually it isn't. Uh, it has nothing to do with age. I've had it all my life. Hey, man. That's fucked. You know, it really isn't any of my business, but you smoke too much. <laughs> okay, Mom. You're really happy driving this taxi, aren't you? Fuck yes. I mean, yeah. It's a cool job. But, I mean, is that your whole goal in life? Driving taxi cabs? Is there something wrong with that? No, no, no. I'm sorry, I, I, I really didn't mean that the way it sounded. Yeah, well, I'll tell you something. I don't always want to be a cab driver. What do you really want to be? A mechanic. A mechanic? practically know all there is to know about it. Both my brothers are mechanics. They're older than me, but, you know, because I'm like a girl and I'm like still kind of young and all, I got to kind of like work up to it, you know? What about marriage and a family? Definitely. Definitely want a family. Boys, though. Lots of boys. No girls? Girls are nice, too, I think. Yeah, maybe some girls, too. But, you know, like, that stuff, that's all beside the point. The real problem is to find a good guy for the father. <laughs> Tell me about it. Well, I'm real particular, you know? And I'm also patient enough. I mean, at least I hope I am. Because, you know, I don't know, maybe you've got to wait a while, you know? Because, like, maybe it's not so easy to find, like, the exact right guy, you know? Like the one guy, you know? Yeah. Another mechanic, maybe. Hell, I don't care what he does. As long as he loves me right. With his soul. You know, takes me for who I am. You know what you mean? Like Popeye says, I am what I am. Right? <laughs> Yes, you certainly are.
Hello? Oh, hi, Marty. Yes, I talked to him. Of course I know what he wants. I've heard it a hundred times. Oh, Marty, go ahead. Just tell me again. Try driving school, you fucking nimrod! Marty, I may be having a brilliant streak right here in the taxi. Yes, I'm really in a taxi. No, I can't tell you right now. Um, all I can say is I have an idea. No. That's why I don't tell you things, Marty. I'm sorry I sound calm. I assure you I'm hysterical. I'll call you the minute I know anything. Goodbye, Marty. Goodbye, Marty. All right, this is Beverly Drive coming up. Where to? Uh, just turn right on Beverly Court, then follow the hill up to Beverly Circle, please. Up on the left, 971. Be um, thirty-three bucks. Okay. Uh, no, keep keep change. Listen. Thanks. Could I ask you something? Now this is going to sound a little crazy to you, but uh, well, I'm a casting agent. That means that I go out and I find people, you know, for really big movies. And I've been observing you, and I, I honestly think you have something special. As a matter of fact, I'm casting a part right right now that I think you'd be perfect for. This is a, a terrific part. You could be a movie star. Well, like right now? Well, yeah. yeah. I really wouldn't want to do that, you know? I mean, I have a job. I really wouldn't want to lose this job, you know? I really wouldn't want to fuck things up right now, you know? You understand, right? Well, let's not be hasty. I'm, 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 I'm serious about this, you know. I just want to be sure you understand what I'm offering you. Yeah, but, you know, I'm a cab driver. You know, this is what I do. Like I told you, I'm gonna be a mechanic. <laughs> I don't want to press you. I, I really don't. Um, but I just want to make sure that I understand. Are you saying that you... You just wouldn't be interested in being a movie star? Nah. Hey, you could be a mechanic later. Everyone wants to be a movie star. Look, lady, you know, I, I like the movies and all, and and I see you're, you're being serious, you know, but that's not a real life for me, you know? 
I mean, I'm sure there's tons of girls who want to be in the movies and all. And, you know, I, I'm not saying it right. It's just that I have everything planned out for me, you know? I mean, everything's going just right for me now. But you can't beat that, can you? Nope. But, you know, I mean, I appreciate it. <laughs> Thanks for the tip. You bet. Take it easy. Sure, Mom. Oh, shit. 